He's not in here either. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> oh boy. That that can't be good. That can't be good. This is a bad room. Let's leave this room. I'm tempted to use my uh, yeah my aspects uh, to see, but it has such a short range at this level. I don't think I'll bother. I know I could use like a blood bag too, where I get myself some more blood. I like how this is kind of building up. You're getting deeper and deeper into his lair. And uh, you build kind of a picture, or drain there, uh, yeah, of uh, maybe things aren't quite up to scratch. Yeah, maybe, maybe they're not. I'm pretty sure they're not, guys. That was awkward. So is that. Now ah, you see there's blood there. Blood. Yeah, you see, you see what I mean. You see what I mean, guys. It's not not quite what you you want. And there's more blood coming down here. Up, 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 up. And clear. This is the end. Okay. It's not the end. <laughs> it's just a bigger room full of messed up stuff. Okay. Cells. Alright, let's do this. Let's, uh... No, wait a minute. Huh? Uh, oh, nice. hey! Well, that was help. pointless. <laughs> you gotta get me out of here, man. This guy's a freaking nut job. Who, Gimbal? Who, Gimbal? Yeah, Gimbal. That guy's been taking pieces off of me and McGee over here for the last three days. He's crazy, man. Freaking Ooh, crazy. Found him. How do I open this? How do I open this door? Maybe it's the big switch on the side. Uh, uh. I don't think so, matey. Hey, where you going? Ow. <laughs> okay. Actually, let's just let's just. Let's just. Ow, ow. Maybe that was a bad idea. No, actually, no, it wasn't. Ow. No, we're okay. We're fine. Ow. Save some ammo. No damage. Ah, damn it, Rumble. Oh, good. More perception. Brilliant. That would have been worth it if it was blood buff. Because you know it would give me extra strength, but okay, I got an experience thing. On the quest log updated. It's hardly a thug, is he? Well, I, I can't. I know what he means by thug, but all right. Um. <laughs> Thanks, man. You're a lifesaver. I wasn't sure I was gonna make it. I'm telling you, I've been on some weird cases, but this one takes the cake. You're Carson, right? Yeah, yeah, that's me. How did you know? Uh, yeah, Arthur Kilpatrick sent me. He did? Oh, man, that's solid. I owe that guy big. I hope I can figure out a way to get him back for this. Got some work for you. You should go back to his office. What? Oh, no, man. No, no, no. Mm. Not for me anymore. Look at my hand. Gimbal took my trigger finger for a trophy. I'm all through with this business. I hate to leave Arthur in a lurch, but that's just the way it is. Hmm. Kind of get it, you know. Man, you ain't no fall guy later. Um, yeah, maybe I won't be so uh, sympathetic, I suppose. Thanks again. Don't yeah. worry. I'll take care of old Stumpy here. Okay. Come back with the police, but not for a while, because I just killed a guy. Lutz? Okay, I got a severed arm. Perfect. That's what I always freaking wanted, and it happens to be a weapon. Yes, okay, so. Uh, I can still put it to good use, although I don't think I will, really. 
Uh, I wonder if I could sell it. I'd, I'll keep it <laughs> for now. And I guess this guy's not going to be in much uh, very good shape. No, he isn't, is he? We can't get in at all. Well, I guess we know what happened to him, didn't we? Huh. Oof. And this is where he hung out. I got a severed arm. <laughs> that was that was what I got. I got a severed arm. Anything under the pillow? No. All right, brilliant, brilliant. Okay, so let's let's get out of here. Let's leave. Let us freaking leave. Call that one a success. How you guys doing? You all right? Let's go and let's go and tell him. Finding my way around now. I don't think I've visited everywhere. And by the <laughs> finding my way around and then getting lost. I thought there was a, a way to go through there. I kind of have a, have a good general idea about the hub now. Tempted to go back in here and see if I can find some more blood. We'll do this first. Yeah, that's we are living in the last days of the last age of mankind. You having fun? Ooh, hang on a minute. Okay, so this is all the way down to the sewers there. What's shaking? From Carson, uh, he's he's not coming back, man. What? Ain't coming back? What do you mean he ain't coming back? Well, if it does, he'll be in uh, pieces. <laughs> yeah, he got his finger cut off. I might as well tell him, you know. Man, that's a tough one. Bounty hunter ain't no good without his trigger finger. Well, hell, that really leaves me in hot water, boy. Gonna cost old Arthur real good. Hmm, what's the problem? I got this guy with a sheet a mile long, put in on three warrants. His girlfriend put up for the bond, and now he missed the court date. I can't get in touch with either of them. Want a job? What would I have to do? You haven't paid me for finding Carson yet. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, here you are. Okay. Uh, now, about the job. I don't know what I got. Quest complete. Maybe it'll give me an update on... Okay, good. $200, that's reasonable, I suppose. Yeah, for a night's work. About the job. Well, it won't be much of a job since you ain't licensed and all, but until I can get me another bounty hunter, I need you to find out if this guy skipped town or what. All right. So, sounds fun. You got a deal. Great, great, all right. The guy's name is Mike Durbin. Goes by the name Muddy. His girlfriend put up for his bond. She lives over there above Tripp's pawn shop. Her name is Marion Murrieta, but I haven't been able to get in touch with her. Cool. All right, then. So, what's his record like? Well, he was brought up on manslaughter charges years back, but he got acquitted. Since then, he's been in and out for this and that. Small-time stuff, mostly. So what do you do this time? Most recently, he was brought in as part of a big case on stolen auto parts. It's this big chop shop thing that's going on in Santa Monica. Been in the paper. All right, so I just go basically back home. That's right. Mary Ann Murrieta in them crappy home. places above the pawn shop. Hey! Find out where the hell Muddy is, where is he going, whatever. But be careful. You're not licensed, and if anything bad goes down, I don't know you. You hear me? All right. Yeah, I'm going to take off. So, Mike Durbin. 
Marion Marietta, because I'm wondering. Hmm. Right, neither of them are on here then. I might know it now. Oh! Nope. <laughs> but I could use our specs. If I want, if I really wanted to. But he's right there. I mean, alright, I'm gonna come out of this. Uh. Save it and just check something. See if he freedom. See if he cares. Um, your father. I'll tell your father wanted me to write to you to tell you that he has a boil that is three inches across. You really need to come visit and see this thing, love, mom. Good to know. Good to know. Oh, it's run out now. Well, wait a minute. It was. No? Ah, it's a different password. Maybe. Let me take a little bit. So he doesn't care. You know, I'm right there. He's not bothered. Money! Oh, why is it? Oh, money. Ah. I don't want to know why he's gone. It's the same thing. There's nothing beyond that. Alright. And I hacked his PC right in front of him. He didn't care. So that's good to know as well. Not too good at darts, are you? Oh, actually, you got, we got lucky with one. Maybe that's important. Alright, so you can just use the PC. It's not a private PC. You can just go in there and, and use it. Um, and, you know, they don't know if you're hacking it. That makes sense. That makes sense. That does. Absolutely. I got three experience already. Yeah, so it's... Yeah, they, they keep on coming, don't they, the experience points. They keep on blowing in. Blood's a little low though. If anybody was round here, that'd be kind of nice. Oh, where was she? 507. Although, is this new? Uh, I, I could have just knocked. Can I just knock? Can I just like rat a tat tat tat? Lady friend Maria Marietta put up here the bunch. She lives in the apartment above the bunch. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm here. This is this is where I I am and stuff. Why can't I just knock? Oh, I just I just hit it again. Okay. Um, hmm. But that's a level. That's really high level, though, isn't it? It's level five. So maybe you're not supposed to get in there. What's that? Okay, neat. That's good to know. I'll forget, but it's good to know. Um. No. Nah.
this is the only thing I've got. I got the service up that. Yeah, so these point me towards the pier slash beach. This is the only one in town I have so far. I've got all that, yay. She should look out for her later as she is now your ghoul. I can't believe it's not a knock, you know? Hello? <laughs> Weird. Alright, oh, hang on. No. Hmm. Alright then. Well, I guess we can head to the beach. Been in here, haven't I? That isn't a thing. People like pizza, they don't like eating it. They just order it and then leave it lying around as if they have something better to do than eat pizza, which of course is completely unrealistic. So, through the car park to the beach, I guess. Good God. Uh, yes, is there something I can um, help you with? What are you doing? Waiting for that blasted tow truck I called an hour ago. I'd rather not wait another second in this part of town, huh. this time of night. Rather dreadful place, don't you think? I should have listened to my mechanic by German, he said. Huh. You, uh, looking for a little company? I've suddenly got the urge to walk down that dark and foreboding alley over there. <laughs> Care to join me? Uh, aww. Ah, so I can feed with to him on the street. Oh, that's really neat. And um, you know, people just think we're making out and stuff, like in a really odd way. But you know, there is a goth club around the corner, so that's really neat. Oh, that's brilliant. All right, good stuff. Maybe you can do that with uh, the ladies of the night then. That's their thing. That's why they're there. Still, oh, I see this. this is your car. It's broken. Yeah, it's steaming. All right. What's down here? Not much. Yeah. So sewers offer a really good way to. Uh, you can't park, can you? Um, get around for someone who needs to, like the Nosferatu, for example. Again. Where I want to go, I want to go to the beach. I uh, know I'm not directly going to the beach. I keep hearing noises, noises. Um, let's go to somewhere else. Yeah, I think we've got everything we need to, haven't we? Get in there. What's that? Salvage yard. All right. No doubt for a quest. Let's go to the beach. <clears throat> it's a nice night. I suppose. This way? No. Someone tied him to two horses and raced them in opposite directions. What could you have possibly seen that was worse than what's down there? It was about three years ago up in Malibu. Found this guy on the beach. Looked like, I don't know, an animal attack. Shark bite? No. <sighs> Seeing shark bites is something different. Like whatever killed him, he was doing. 
head was missing, the hands were missing. And, and there were these huge slashes, but... Bullshit. Hmm. No, no. The guy was literally slashed to ribbons. The worst part was I was waiting for the meat wagon. I felt like something was watching me. I swear on my badge today that there was something just out of sight. For a split second, I, I thought about running to the squad car and getting the hell out of that place. And to this day, it makes me wonder if it's really good. <laughs> Maybe it was a werewolf. Woo! All right. Or a vampire. <laughs> See, this is why you didn't get invited to Hernandez's wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you guys can hear that all right. So there's only... Uh... There's only one sound thing. So... You know, I can't adjust the, the, the music and, and the speech separately, which is a shame. Because I would have liked to. So I think the music was a little bit too loud in the last video. Ah, so... The beach, so... Oh, okay, you're clearly waiting for me, aren't you? I'm gonna shoot you in the head! You don't like thugs. Maybe you are thugs. Alright, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. The astrolite was supposed to get you from a group of junky pricks who live in a dump on the beach. And his money. Oh, so this could be them. Alright, well, let's... Up there. Through that chain link gate and up those stairs. Uh, pardon? Those men you are looking for. How did you know I was looking for someone? Never mind. You wouldn't understand. Uh, weird. Well, that's new. Thanks. Alright, so it's not you lot. Are you sure you... I mean... You have me. No. No, you are going to China. What are you talking about? Why is he smiling? The father. Is it, is it the father behind him? You don't make any sense. You chased it for the one at the top of the city. On the sea. Well, oh, on the ground. You found it in the crypt. It's open. Oh, it's open. Oh god. Oh god. Run. No, you don't open it. <laughs> That's probably what it's talking about. I don't understand. Uh, I'm sorry. Sometimes I see nothing. Foreshadowing. Disregard very obscure say. foreshadowing. Uh, you have a gift. Please, it's very important. Can you tell me anything else? One hand moves the pieces of the game. The winner keeps his hand on the pawn. Can you be more specific? I don't know what I'm saying. Forget Maybe what I'm, I'm the pawn? Maybe you tell me a fortune and I'll pay you. Fortune is not your destiny. All of us are unfortunate. Every time I sleep, the future plays out before me. I know the ending. It will end over and over until I cease to dream. I know your questions. For one hundred dollars, I'll tell you what you don't want to hear. I need money to leave this place. Maybe twenty. Maybe Cassie's like not, um... She's got a spiritual side, you know, she, she might like the tarot cards, uh, horoscopes, things like that. Fortunes. Could be 20, here's my question. Then ask again. Who can I trust? Hmm. The man on the couch. Hmm. The lone wolf. All others tread carefully. That's good to know. Who are my enemies? Many. Everywhere. Some with swords, some with smiles. But I pity them. You are a remarkable foe. She's watched my videos. Uh, what's going to happen to me the next few nights? The Crimson Sheep. He's not who he says she is and is going to burn. Dinosaurs. Hmm. He's furious. The man with the crest. The voice in the darkness. Boss. Chinese brothers. Follow the lights to the end of the tunnel. Where do you want to go? 
I'll come back later. I, I, I think that the Cassie has some um, time for that kind of thing. Up the chain link tilt that way. But uh, there's, a, there's the pier. Fucking. Um. Uh. Uh, do you know who the head vampire is? Who doesn't? If the head vampire dies, we all become human again, right? It's killed with a holy stake, sure. Interested in purchasing it? Okay, but first I had another question. Um, how about blood transfusions? If I get a full blood so these transfusion, guys are I can become human again, right? If it's unicorn blood. Unicorn blood? Oh, well, they can be vampires, but there's no such thing as unicorns. Oh, fine. I won't sell you any then. Yeah. I'll buy it. I'll buy it. I'm gonna go get some money. Um, uh, come back in a little while. Okay. Also, find some special chewing gum to erode your fangs. Fucking mayhem, bro. He's actually going. <laughs> Selling him what he what he wants could make you some money. Should I do that now? Later. Okay. Fair enough. Later. Tragedy. Young bloods, huh? E evening. They fear me. Um, you okay? It's n n nothing. Do I scare you? N n n no, I, I have a sp speech problem. S so sorry. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I don't wanna. Sorry to bother you. Goodbye. Listen. It's like I've told you types about a thousand times now. We know we can't hunt round here, all right? We're minding our own business. No reason to hassle the weaklings. This is all right. Good. This guy seems a bit more sensible, a bit more there. See any thugs come here carrying bats? Now you should try up there through that chain link gate. A couple of real nasty-looking bloods come out there a couple of times a night. And who are you guys? Should talk to this guy first, really. You mean you ain't here to run us off? Mm, no, why would you think that? We're getting pretty sick of it. Someone citing domain, or in the worst case, is hunting us for sport. Why? Dunno. We all seem to have come down with the same disease. Oh, hell, who am I kidding? We're a bad horror show, alright? We seem to be the runts. The mistakes. You types call us thin bloods. I say we're all equally screwed. All right, what's a thin blood? <laughs> I'm damned if I know. Well, I know you don't want to be one. You seem to be in the lead. You tell me. All right, what clan are you? Clan? <laughs> See, I've heard all that before. And, and I still don't know what the hell anyone's talking about. I'd like to know just what I've become. We'd all like to know just, just what the, the hell kind of devil's contract we've apparently signed. How this happened to you? I'd just come to town for the surf tourney. Seems like years ago, but it's, well, been about six months now. Every night during the finals, I used to hit the local diner after the beach parties fizzled out in the AM. That's where I met her. Who? She had a natural beauty. Not like all the plastic dolls littering the sand. Her name was Lily. I remember introducing myself, the way she seemed grateful for the company. Well, a few nights after our meeting, we were on the beach alone and... Go on. She tried to tell me what she was, but I didn't understand. And so she showed me. I was furious with her when I took it all in. I cursed her and left, never really knowing what I was. Well, I realise now how she must have felt. So here I am now, a mystery to myself. You're all vampires. That's what Lily tried to tell me. But what I don't understand are the rules, and the terms, and the reasons some of them are at our throats claiming we're harbingers of the apocalypse. That's what I want to know. Uh, maybe we should look into this whole blood, thin blood thing. Well, I hope you have better luck than I did. Hmm. No one's been particularly friendly to me in this city. The only reason we're in Santa Monica is because we haven't been chased out yet. I reckon it's, you know, uh, vampires who haven't been, uh, who have been sired by um, vampires who haven't had permission from the count or lord or whatever um, and or whose sire has just abandoned them like mistakes or whatever so these are the thin bloods, thin bloods as well aye 
Most of them just recently arrived in LA. Got chased off by the Sabbath or some such thing from their home cities. They're more in the dark than I am. They're a good bunch, but well, they've been through a lot. It's affected them. So this Lily, is she dead? Clinically, yes. Hmm. But honestly, <laughs> I don't know. I suppose I'd have moved on by now if I didn't think she'd show up one of these nights. There's a lot I've got left to say to her. Hmm. So if we see her around at the diner... Uh, Lily, right, yeah, so... You want to check the surf, see if she's there. All right, and he will tell me, sell me anything, basically. Or no, buy anything. All right, let's 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 stay on track, shall we? Even though the pier does look tempting, 